48 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist Jeff DeNoyer. All right, Jeff, it is uh, kind of cloudy out there. Some people seeing some showers right now. Nothing too significant, but it is going to pick up later in the day. Yeah, it'll have a big impact on the evening commute when mm -hmm. everybody's trying to get home and get their Mac Daddy groove on for the weekend. <laughs> I get it, um, but a little rain to get through this afternoon. And we're tracking that on the radar right now. You can see where the light showers are falling across the area, mainly for areas west of 65 right now. Um, that stretches down towards Coleman as well. This will all fill in as we go through the afternoon, and that rainfall will become steady, and it will become even heavy at times for the evening commute. So there's a lot going on here. So you got some rainfall that's moving into the area now, right? And you got that rain extends bound towards Atlanta and into portions of southern Georgia. But then you got this little spin here, right? This is like a little upper level low into Arkansas, Louisiana and Mississippi. And that's where the heavier rain is. When an upper level low just spins around, it's kind of lost in the woods. It doesn't know where to go and it just kind of meanders around. It needs a little swift kick to get out of here. Well, that's what this frontal boundary here will do. So this low pressure kind of wobbles around and spins around until tonight. And then this front will give it a big old kick out of here Saturday morning. What does it mean for you at home? It means it rains for tonight uh, and right into the morning hours on Saturday. This frontal boundary pushing that little upper level low out of here. Once the front moves through, I do think we'll get some sunshine by Saturday afternoon, but prepare for a really cool pattern and some very gusty winds too behind the front where the gusts could be up to 35, 40 miles an hour. So even if we pop a little sunshine, it's going to be really chilly by the afternoon on Saturday and it'll set up for a cold night on Saturday night. So it's time it out hour by hour for you. The rainfall will lift south to north during the afternoon and evening hours. You see how the reds and yellows and oranges kick in a little bit heavier rainfall. No severe weather, just some heavy rain. And then by 5 p.m. still raining for many locations. And then instead of the rain moving south to north, you'll see it kind of pivot and come back around. That's that upper level low spinning around right near our area, and it keeps the showers in the forecast during the overnight hours, probably more for northern zones, but still nonetheless some rain still in the forecast and that will continue right into the morning hours on Saturday and then the wind kicks in the clouds clear out and the cool temperatures dive south so your weekend forecast are around 60 Saturday but it'll feel much cooler even with some sunshine and then after a chilly night gorgeous on Sunday pop some sunshine temperatures right where they should be in the upper 60s and the second half of the weekend looking a lot better than the first half of the weekend though Saturday doesn't look all that bad so we get through that beautiful day on Sunday but then all eyes will turn to the west see this big it's circulation here. This is a monster storm that's going to impact the west as we go into tomorrow and into Sunday. It's going to bring some really heavy snow to the northern plains. Why I'm showing you this? Well, it's our next big weather maker. I know we got some rain tonight, but watch out for early next week. It's that system there that will have a big impact on the areas we go into Monday night and Tuesday. We've already issued a 48 first alert weather day for the combination of heavy rain, gusty winds, and could even be some strong to severe thunderstorms. Stay with WAFF 48 for the very latest on air and online. We'll keep updates coming on how that will play out for early next week. All right, Jeff.